College Park, Maryland, the Comcast Center where the Maryland Terrapins shot 50% from the field, out-rebounded Boston College by eight and gets the win, 81-65. to Welcome back, everybody. Tim Brand along with Dan Bonner. Interesting game. Maryland, they built that big lead in the first half by 19. Yeah, they sure did, and then they, they made that lead stand up. But I thought one of the big keys for Maryland throughout the entire game was they, they played really well defensively. They forced Boston College out of the rhythm that Boston College likes to use when they play. I thought that was a big factor in the success I agree with you. They out-rebounded Boston College by eight, and they also were very strong beyond New York. Take a look at the highlights, and it was from beyond New York that Maryland built that 19-point lead. Well, in the first half, Maryland made eight three-point baskets. In fact, they had a 25-2 run, did the Terrapins, early in the game. And during that 25-2 run, they hit seven three-point baskets. Four of them were by Stoglin. That one by Nick Faust. Parker knocked down a three-point basket, and Sean Mosley, who scored only five points in the first half, knocked down a three as well. Boston College, after falling behind by as many as 19, they made a couple of threes in the first half to stay in the game, but they only shot four for 15 from the three-point arc throughout the game. In the second half, the Maryland Terrapins, they started to attack inside. James Padgett had all 15 of his points in the second half. Sean Mosley, who also operated effectively inside, he had eight of his 13 in the second half. But going inside, Padgett again, you'll see him here, he had 15 points, eight rebounds for the game. Maryland had some great success. And then Nick Faust, he decided he'd drive the ball to the basket. And as the game ended, it turned into showtime. Maryland was able to get out and go. Here, Terrell Stoglin to Michael Parker puts an exclamation point on the evening. Terrell Stoglin with 24 points, Dan. Only five of those came in the second half. Well, been, he had a great first half, and obviously when you do that, they get on you in the second half. You can see Boston College shot the ball very poorly. Their goal is to make 10 threes per game. They only made four. Maryland did a nice job rebounding the basketball. They did a great job shooting threes, but I thought overall it was their defensive effort that really keyed the win. And after the game, Dan caught up with Terrell Stoglin. All right, Terrell, congratulations. You guys had it rolling offensively in the first half. What does it feel like when you're in the middle of a run like that? You made four threes, your other guys made three, so you made seven threes in just the course of a couple of minutes. Right, it makes it more easier when I'm hitting threes and the rest of the team's hitting threes. We just play off each other. When we play off each other, we come up with wins. That's what we did today. Now, I thought you guys really made a conscious effort to defend Boston College three-point shooting. Looks like you were up in, and was that part of the game plan? Right, that was in the scouting report, just to stop the three-point shooting. Um, they have a lot of freshmen, but they're good three-point shooters, and we just want to take them out their game. What did you guys do to get Padgett involved in the second half? Suddenly, he really came alive. I mean, we just want to run more plays for him. I mean, Padgett, he goes to work inside, so we just want to do that for him, and it worked out. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Terrell Stoglin with those 24 points that we mentioned. Also, Faust with a huge night tonight. Dan, you mentioned that he looked awfully comfortable at that point. Well, he did. Now, of course, Mark, I'm talking to Mark Turgeon after the game. He said, well, you know, we really don't have a point guard. Well, they may be growing a point guard in Nick Faust. I thought he played very well. Let's look ahead to Saturday. Maryland now goes in a short turnaround and has to play the Cavaliers down in Charlottesville. Yeah, and that's going to be a very difficult game for Maryland, but Maryland is a team they have, they can put enough pressure on you offensively that I think that's they've really got an opportunity there. Virginia plays very well defensively with their injury situation. They sometimes have a tough time scoring. And again, Maryland with Stoglin, particularly if they get hot, you know, you make seven to nine threes, you're hard to That'll beat. That'll help. Yeah. <laughs> so Maryland goes down to Charlottesville on Saturday. They come back here next Tuesday to play Miami. Terrific ball game here for Maryland. They got out, as we said, to that big lead in the first half and hold on down the stretch. Once again, the final score from the Comcast Center, Maryland 81, Boston College 65.